these guys, but may not have time. There we go. I would say that went pretty well. back this way. Um, come up here. This is the top of that pagoda that I told you we would be getting. Rid of. Actually, is it? It might be that one, actually. We can climb up this one. Here's another lamp. That's four. by a villager or a noble, maybe. Alright. Uh, let's see. Right here. Let's here. Let's see, is there some place I can... Yes, I can get a light torch off of this right here. So let's light this torch. There's a lot of gameplay to this behind where you were. So like, what I mean by that is the game is pushing you to run through that cave. But you don't have to. There's other things you can do. Particularly if you're looking for collectibles. Or extra XP or what have you. There's always alternatives to pushing forward the narrative path. This game really does reward exploring, <clears throat> which I truly appreciate. Because you give me an area like this, this big island, and I want to explore it. I want to see what secrets it has. And even if it's just simple things like a little box that gives me XP, it's worth it. XP is important. XP is how we get better. So, yeah. Okay, so there's also... Not that way. We can come down here. We got another skill point. It's a gun by, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. Okay. drop down into the water here, right here. There's a little EXP box. I don't think there's anything across there. No, there's no caves across there. So we'll hop back up go up this way just because it's faster to traverse than running through the water. But we're going to go back down and we're actually over this bridge. And I just realized I passed by a little bush there too. And all of a sudden, oh, remember this part. So remember how I said you're never cut off from collectibles? So if you miss something down here, well now you can get to it again. And with the fast travel between camps, no matter how far into the game you've gone, 
you can still um, backtrack for collectibles. So let's pick this up. And it, technically, if I wanted to, I'll show. Well, I'll just show you. Because this whole area is reopened. I really thought there was a sprint, but it doesn't seem to. It should never be seen to be sprinting. So maybe I'm forgetting the button combination. Anyway, I can come all the way back to this campfire and use my skill point before I push forward. Because, who knows, maybe there's a fight on the other side of that, and I want to go ahead and use my skill point. Yeah, so... Um, now, I may not use it, because I don't know that there's anything I really want to get. Uh, resourceful archers, eh, it's okay. Steady shot, maybe, but I'm pretty sure... I'm about to open that third upgrade path, and there's some really good stuff in that. And so I'm going to wait to use this skill point a bit uh, after that. But I just wanted to show you how the structure of this game does allow you to backtrack, does allow you to sort of um, prepare if you want to. Also, what was she looking at? If you'll notice, okay, as I was as I was running by, well, she didn't do it that time. She was looking off to the right hand side. So there, she may have been looking at something that was there before, but actually isn't there now. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. Mm. That's a scary dude. Alright, let's continue on. Transmitter from the lifeboat in it. If we don't get that back, 
We're not getting off this bloody island. But you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. They're also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh no. No 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 no. No. Oh don't do this to me, you northern bastard. This is the first of the real hub areas um, that you'll come back to uh, quite a few times, actually. There's a lot of collectibles in this area. There's a lot of collectibles that are hidden behind uh, places that you can't get to yet because you don't have the right equipment. And there's also a new um, optional objective if we light our torch uh, we can then come and light these statues You'll notice I can use my pistol with the torch, but I can't use my bow with the torch, of course, because a bow is a two-handed weapon. Makes sense, right? Hunt some chicken, and we'll hunt this area clean as well if we can. If we can. Every bit of EXP helps. This is a puzzle that we can't we can't quite uh, do anything with yet. First of all, we need to light that, which we could go get a flame and light that, but we still can't do anything with the puzzle. We can't get to that salvage up there. So we'll just leave it alone for now. Uh, we don't have the ability to go over there yet, so we'll just come back. But I just kind of want to show you how this hub is laid out and how. Uh, you will open up different options as you play through the game of places to go and things to get, paths to take. 
Wow. That was not even close to accurate, and I still killed it. Okay. Feeling generous today, I guess. So. We can walk up here. I don't have the equipment for that. I think it'll tell me if I point at it, maybe. No. Here we can jump up to the roof. Cross over to this room. There's a GPS here. One of 15. I love these banners you can swing on. They're really cool. Really get some distance that way. Come up here. Just the traversal is just really good. It's just so satisfying swinging around and finding all these different areas. I can jump here and then climb up on top. Come up over to here. These ruins. Come a current period. Was all this possible? After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable, calculating even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with. Alrighty. Some more lore. That's where we came. Let's go over here. And the step. That's where we jump from. Let's go back here. Climb up. And we'll jump over to this side. Pick that up. Can I go this way? I think I can. Yeah, I'll jump up on the table. Come up here. There's anything. I'll stay here. There's a zip line for you. Um, I don't have a torch. Well, I do have a torch. I don't have a lit torch. I would do that. And just as a reminder of what you're supposed to be doing, the wolves start howling. But you've always, there's just always other options, things to do. You're not constrained to just one thing. There's a glow up there, so that means that's a GPS cache. So is there any way I can get up there right now? Mm, maybe not right now. Let's see. Uh 
Oh, no, I can get up on the roof. Oh, not that part of the roof. Um, but I can get over here. And from here, I can get over to here where this GPS cache is. And then, oh look, there's another challenge in this area. Egg poacher. So like I said, there's just a lot to do in these hub areas. They're really uh, satisfying in that way. So we're going to jump back down. We're going to drop back down to here. And come around. And we're gonna ride the zip line down. We'll light our torch. Come on. There we go. Let's see, is there anything else we can do? Let's come up here. Now we could actually come upstairs and get that salvage. Now that we have a torch. Okay. Down. Okay, so that's pretty much all I can do at this point. I can't get up there. I can grab these arrows, but I'm full. There's another salvage that I can't do anything with. Alright, so. The next step is, how do we get up to the wolf step? Well, we use our survivor instinct. Where is it? Uh, where is the wolf step? Okay, there's the... So it's over there now. So what we do is we can swing across here on this part of the line. Across. come down here get this salvage while we're here I think that's all that's right here relight our torch if we want to here anything else yep there's some salvage right here Go. go this way. Go on top of the fuselage. And there's the wolf stick. transmitter. And before we do that, is there anything in this area we want to explore? Nope. Oh look! What's through here? Hold on. A little GPS cache. inaccessible. I need climbing equipment to get here, but this is another optional tomb. And obviously I knew that was there because I've played the games many times, but there's actually symbols 
to tell you you're near or not. And I actually like that. There have been people who criticize that and said, well, it takes away from the exploration. And I understand what they're saying, but at the same time, the developers put time and effort into those tombs. They want you to find them. They want you to play them. So they're going to kind of point them out to you. And I'm okay with that. Saying that was too easy. Got to get this back to Roth. You are absolutely right. That was too easy. And then there's almost always a faster way down. So we'll go here. Um, what's the best way to do this? We'll drop down here. Jump over to here. Cross over to here. Jump to this banner. Much faster down than up. Right. Let's get you patched up. lady like you learn to do a thing like that. <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. <laughs> 